This was supposed to be a video of our sailing trip in Greece in 2022. However, I've confirmed the rumour that electronics doesn't like being immersed in seawater and ended up losing most of my clips and my pictures. So instead, here's a short video on the boat we were on. We were with sailing holidays in the Argolic Gulf and the Saronic Islands and the boat was a nearly new Beneteau 38.1. And the first thing that's obvious in the design is the large back end and that certainly gives plenty of room in the cockpit and in the berths below. We had some good winds with not much swell and we soon came to love the boat in these conditions. We also came to like the twin helm. With just two of us it gave us a lot more flexibility. The port helm had the engine controls as well as the B&G Zeus plotter and the auto helm control. And because we're in the med there's no spray hood fitted, just a bimini to shade from the sun. It has in-mast furling with an unbattened mainsail and in these conditions was simple and really effective. There's a furling Genoa and our standard the furling line goes back to the cockpit. A great swim platform gives you easy access in and out of the water and where you can see the sail drive and the twin rudders looking somewhat vulnerable if you're tangled with anything. But it did look nice on the water especially under sail. From the cockpit there's easy access to a large galley, plenty of space, nice sized table, nav set up with twin heads each with its own shower and good sized rear berths, two of them. When the weather's warm it's good to have an upright fridge with plenty of space and also plenty of storage in the cupboards around. The front V-berth is large, bright, very comfortable with easy access on and off the bed and good wardrobe space as well. At the nav station there's another B&G plotter as well as the B&G Simrad VHF radio. There's also a drop down nav table. Back in the cockpit there are two Lumar self tailing winches, one either side for the foresail and on top of the cabin two more winches for the mainsail. After two weeks in breezy med conditions we got to really like the boat. It was ideal in these conditions for flotilla and charter sailing and one I'm sure we'll look at hiring again.